And this conference about representation, I think, is so important. And the BASIS project now has been running for, what, three years, I think, and promoting infrastructure, you know, governance, finance, fundraising, project management, all important stuff. We need vibrant, strong refugee community organisations in this country. We need such strong organisations. But it's not an end in itself, and I've said this point repeatedly. Infrastructure, that lovely word, a word we may need to change, possibly, I don't know, is that a conservative word? I don't know. Um, but we need, we need to move beyond that. Why are we trying to build up refugee community organisations. I would argue not as an end in itself, but to deliver services, to engage, to campaign, to make sure that the voice of asylum seekers and refugees are heard by organisations led by asylum seekers and refugees. And we're in a state of flux, as I keep saying, um, local ways of engaging, um, local strategic partnerships, local area agreements. How will the new coalition government develop things? Will things be devolved out? Will there be much greater flexibility? How will local government um, take development? I think we're going to see more and more local flexibility and what's so important is that you are studying things locally in your own local authority area. Watching development so important. And inherent within that is who has got power locally? We move in challenging times, but campaigning, representation, influence, voice has never been more important. With financial instability and political instability, you know, we all need to be passionate, we need to enjoy what we're doing. There's always a space for enjoyment, I think. Passionate, enjoy it, a willingness to work with others, to consistently seeking allies, but above all, never give up. Our fight in defence of asylum seekers and refugees is so important, we must never give up, despite the challenging circumstances. Thanks for your time. Um, hi, uh, my name is Fergal, Fergal McCullough. I'm the Refugee Action Basis Organisational Development Officer for the North West. Um, and this is a conference that I, uh, on, on refugees and representation that I put together with um, the Greater Manchester BME Network project, which is a basis around 200 um, project, um, Manchester Refugee Support Network, and the TRIO project, which is another basis around 2 from the project. Uh, the policy context for the last 10 years has been localism in terms of local areas. And it's about government shifting power from Westminster into local areas. Because you know best, basically. Local areas know best how to solve some of these intractable problems. Going back in time here, Gordon Brown. But it's, it's important to, to have this slide up and to see this because it was the new Labour government who pushed and developed localism. And it's all about devolving power away from the centre to local people because you have the expertise, you know what these issues are, and you know how to solve them. It's all about the expertise of local public bodies as well at the local level. So your local authority, PCP, police and private business. It's all about people getting together at a local level to work on some of these issues. Now we have the coalition government. And the words, in some respects, are very much the same. It's still about devolving power away from the centre to local people about giving councils more power to promote local democracy and it's still about increasing citizens' involvement to improve services. Um, my name is Shumaka Jama and I'm with the Manchester Somali Youth Forum. Uh, we recently established an institute organization um, with the office in Maasai, which is the uh, more deprived area of Manchester, called the recently called of Manchester. Uh, and we're, we're currently focusing on three main issues, which are uh, unemployment, employment, or lack of employment, um, youth and gang activities, and also uh, education. My name is Angel Ngamala Kaleta. I do work with a Manchester Congolese organization, Trading is Marco. We started the organization, um, I would say, officially last, uh, last year in August, 
although we had already informal meetings before it started with a social gathering and it developed into a formal organization last year in, in August. So I came to this meeting, meeting because we, we are still following training with uh, FEGAL, with, which is basic uh, training to, to help us on with organizational uh, matters so that we can set the organization in a professional and, <laughs> and strong way. <laughs> So he's the one who sent us the form so that we can participate in this training today as well. We've we'll come across a few barriers in the, in the short period that we've been around. Um, one of the main things has been uh, trying to convince the council that you know, we are a, a you know, large population and that comes to stats and the, uh, the data is not out there. Um, we have uh, ambiguous numbers in terms of um, the population in Manchester, uh, which is around 20,000, but well, I'm sure it's a lot more than that. Um, again, it comes down to the census, which has, we feel has not been, is not been engaged with. And I think one of the things we mentioned in there was, uh, what I did mention was that the, uh, the position has been created in London with regards to uh, a community advisor, and this has not been looked at outside of the capital. Uh, we have large populations of size in Wales, West Midlands, uh, and in the North West, and Liverpool, Manchester, so we all communities. So, I mean, if you look back at the Somali community, you can trace, up, you know, trace back to the 18th century, 19th century. So uh, we have the links, but I think we, we, have, we haven't had the um, engagement that we should be by the council. We are becoming a voice. I cannot say we have already reached there, but we are in the process of becoming that voice. Because um, if I look at the history of Congolese here in Manchester, they've been here for more than 20 years already. But uh, to come together and form a strong community which can address issues that Congolese are facing in their daily lives, we are still in a process, I would say. And I believe that a training like this will be able to become that voice to address the issues we are facing. I think one of the biggest problems uh, around um, engagement, around representation for any community organization, let alone a refugee community organization, is just the language. Um, the language itself is very, very off-putting. The structures are quite bureaucratic and top, quite top-down, um, and they're very, very confusing. My name is uh, Nathan Banana and uh, my organization is called Vision Inspired People Zimbabwe. Okay, basically our organization uh, is focusing more on trying to uh, reskill Zimbabweans so that they are ready to reintegrate into the Zimbabwe society when things go back to normal. Um, we've come to this uh, particular uh, conference to try and see if we can uh, network with other groups with uh, possible similar objectives as us and uh, also try and gain some kind of knowledge of what goes on with um, RC in the Northwest. Uh, my name is uh, Bishu, Bishu Kamba, and uh, I came here to represent my organ organization is the uh, Home Heart UK. We are working uh, with the uh, uh, Refugee Asalam Sika for Congolese um, community. Well, I feel um, already access to funding is very limited for, uh, for us as a new uh, organization. So, what we're looking at now is actually going on a coalition arrangement with other uh, groups who are also dealing with communities in our area so that maybe we can apply as a group for funding and then share whatever resources that we have. Today conference is very useful and more interesting for, for me, for my organization, because we are science speakers and a lot of people like a refugee and a, a asylum speaker come from Congo. They don't speak English and they are they are facing like a barrier. They can't go out because they, they cannot speak English. And then uh, here, I found, uh, I found myself um, like uh, the conference is open. 
hoping everybody is being peaceful. Uh, and then, um, information I get today is going to help us to go further about what we are doing.